Okay, we have to take a quick limit problem. We've got the limit as x approaches infinity of x to the one over x. Okay, so to get started with this, what we can try to do is first, let's just try to evaluate it at infinity and see what happens. So if we have infinity, we'll have infinity at the base, one over infinity here, this is gonna be infinity to the zero. But this here is gonna be an indeterminate form, so we don't really know if this is going to infinity or zero or one or what. So what I need to do is let's try to do some algebra to manipulate this. And what I can do for x in the base, let's just get this to be e. Let's just kind of force this to be e by rewriting x as e ln x. And this is all going to be to the 1 over x. But then with exponent properties, we can just kind of multiply in that 1 over x. And I can rewrite this as e ln x all over x. But what that allows me to do is bring the limit into the exponent. So what I can do is actually let's evaluate this limit of just ln x over x. So we'll come down here. And we'll look at the limit for ln x over x. And now if we try to evaluate this infinity, we have a situation where ln of infinity, this is going to infinity. And then in the denominator, this is also going to infinity. So we still, so we still have an indeterminate form, but because it's infinity over infinity case, this lets us use L'Hopital's rule. Okay, so going ahead with L'Hopital's rule here, what this allows me to do is instead of evaluating this limit over here, I can evaluate the limit of the derivative of the numerator over the derivative of the denominator. So taking the derivative here of ln x first, we're just going to have 1 over x. And then taking the derivative of x, this is just going to become 1. But then from here, we can just evaluate the limit as x goes to infinity of 1 over x. And this is clearly going to be going to 0. So coming back to our main problem, we're just saying the limit as x approaches infinity of this exponent, this is going to be going to 0. So this is going to simplify to just e to the 0. But then we can just calculate e to the 0. And so for my final solution of this, it's just 1. Okay, there you have it. Quick limit problem with L'Hopital's rule. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.